So here guys, this is my lighting arsenal. I have an Ellen Chrome D4 light. I love this little baby, by the way. Uh, it did take a spill, so uh, it's functioning kind of funny now, but this is my baby. I have an LMB 800, a Studio Pro SD 400, an Ellen Chrome 600 RX. I have two Photo Deox M400As, a Mattel 600AD, two 580EX. So guys, let's just get into some other details. Uh, let's talk about price point. The Ellen Chrome D4 Lite will cost you around $407. The LMB will cost you around $200. The Studio Pro SD will cost you around $196. The Ellen Chrome Style 600RX will cost you around $400. This is discontinued, I believe, but you can find it on places like eBay and Craigslist, so I just want to throw that out there. I, I believe they have a new version of this. Uh, that will run you about $700, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, Photo Deox M400A. These will cost you around 200 bucks. The Mattel 600 AD will cost you around 322. The 580EX is also discontinued, but you can find it on places like Amazon, eBay, Craigslist. That strobe, believe it or not, retails around 480 bucks. So just wanted to throw that out there. We'll see. All right, I'm filming a YouTube video, so. Uh... <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm filming this, so I just wanted to uh, let them end on my interruption, my beautiful wife, guys. Oh, snap. Don't do that. I'm taking it out. Love you. Guys, I just want to share a little inspiration. Uh, before I got into stroke photography, I did a lot of natural light photography. You know, I used what was available. And then, you know, I wanted to take things a little further, so I moved into constant light. I did a little bit of that and actually I found my first uh, lighting setup in a trash, believe it or not, it was in perfect condition. Uh, I used that for about four years and you know, I, you know, found ways to uh, manipulate and control light and you know, that thing evolved into me wanting to have more light because I started to do bigger subjects. I was extremely hesitant in moving forward, but I know I needed it. So, you know, I had to put my fears aside and say to myself, you know what, I need more light. And my second purchase was a 580 EX2. Uh, those things were great, but after a while, I needed more light than a 580 EX2. And another thing is, it couldn't keep up with the speeds that I wanted to you know, create. So you know, from there, it led me to wanting to purchase a strobe. And my first strobe that I purchased was the Mattel 600 AD. This strobe is a very, very powerful strobe. I'll give you why I purchased the strobe. Uh, it was attractive because of the price point, because of the portability, and because of the output. This strobe, uh, for a, a strobe that outputs around not only 600 watts, but uh, is portable, it will cost you anywhere from 800 to like $2,000. So, like I said, this was uh, in the realm of where I wanted to go as far as price point, and this thing really hit a nail. Uh, I wanted to tell you, after a while, I did stop using the Mattel 600 AD only because I didn't need that much light. Um, when I was using it, I did a lot of outdoor photography. I did a lot of large parties. So, you know, I wanted to be mobile. I wanted to be portable. You know, what are you going to do when you go to a park and there's no power outlet? So this guy came in handy when it was time to, you know, uh, bring lighting to a scenario where there was absolutely no light. So that guy served his purpose. Uh, after a while, you know, I wanted to be more portable, more compact. And you guys have to ask yourself, what is important to you when it comes to shooting? You know, there's a host of things. Find out what your niche, what your thing is. And that's the thing that you follow to help you mold and cultivate everything else around you. Portability and being compact was something that was very important to me. That's where strobes like the Ellen Chrome uh, D4 Lite comes in. This thing is very, very small, but it packs a punch. So it doesn't have as much power as, let's say, the Mattel 600 AD, but it does perform at a very, very high rate. And I actually love the, the images and I love that it's so lightweight you can throw it anywhere you don't and when you put a modifier on, on it it doesn't obscure the weight too much and it's very controlled but yeah guys 
Not only that, another small strobe and lightweight strobe that I use is the LMB800. Uh, Upside to this thing, very, very compact, very, very lightweight, very, very convenient. The downside to this little guy is that I've noticed in some of the shoots, the color temperature changed between a warmer photo to a cooler photo. And it will happen sometimes can consecutively. Then it was sometimes where, you know, a host of like 10 shots where it was all cool and then you'll get one more photo. So the consistency in this strobe was not as good as the other strobe. So I just wanted to throw that out there. The Pro is another smaller strobe. It is a 400 watt strobe. Uh, the downside is this, although this guy is tiny, it's compact, it still packs the weight. That's the downside for uh, this uh, strobe for me. Other than that, this strobe is great. It performs well. It is at a very, very attractive price point. Only coming in at 196. You really can't beat that, guys, for the price point. 400 watts, $196. It's compact. Not so much lightweight, but it is a strobe that I would definitely recommend using. It is a freaking monster. This guy packs a punch. It's heavy. And I don't know, but I really, really love Ellen Chrome lights. I'm in love with them. So Ellen Chrome, holla at me if you need anything. I'm based in Jersey. I'm doing some awesome things. I have some great photography. Give me a shout out, Ellen Chrome. I love your product. So guys, and about the Photo Deox uh, M400As, I really love these strobes. I will tell you, I took a dive because I love the Photo Deox products. And you know, I was a little hesitant, but I said, you know what, I'm gonna give them a try. Ace, and I was extremely, extremely shocked and blown away by its performance. These things perform very well. Believe it or not, out of all of that I have laying here across this table, the Photo Deox M400 A's had the fastest recycle time. That's right, the fastest recycle time. Which means when I snap that shutter and the light, when it flashes, pow, 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 this thing can keep up with it. So if you're constantly going, chicka, 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 this guy right here can actually compete. And I was blown away. The only downside that I can say about this strobe is that it's long. You know, look at it compared to my head. It's super long. So, you know, when it comes to being compact and portable, this thing is definitely down the drain for me. But other than that, all thumbs up for the Photo Deox M400A. Photo Deox, holla at me, man. I've been rocking out with you guys. I've been supporting you guys. This is the closing of the video. I just wanna wrap up by saying, you know, this is my lighting arsenal. I want to give you guys a little insight on, you know, some of the lighting that I use, some of the price points, you know, and the highlights of these strobes. You know, this is how I create my work with this stuff right here. Just wanna also close out by saying, I encourage you guys, anyone out there who's looking to get into show photography, don't wait, go for it. Don't hesitate. Look at a strobe that, you know, will suit your needs, rather whatever needs, whether it's power, whether it's portability, whether it's price point, look at what you can afford and take the dive and practice and learn as much as you absolutely can. I'll give you guys some tips. I did a blog post a few uh, months ago where I went into some of the photography books that I learned from. One of the books that I actually learned uh, my foundation in photography, believe it or not, was by an author named the one and only Amazing Scott Kelby. I follow his work. I've been a follower since I've been doing photography. He has helped me in so many ways just by reading his book uh, with his personable attitude. I really love that about Scott Kelby. His Reading his book was like a one-on-one -on -one exchange on how to become a photographer. So, you know, I already had the ideas. I had the creativity. I needed to learn a, the knowledge and the language of photography to help me articulate what it is that I wanted to do. So you have to learn as much as you possibly can in order to, you know, know what your limits are, know what how far you can take things. It is very, very critical to do that. And I promise you guys, you will get to where you want to be. You just have to be determined. You have to show passion and you have to give it all you got. Don't be afraid. Take the dive. That's it. I'm closing out this video. It's your boy LP with Lorenzo P Photography. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to give you some energy, but I don't have much, but I'm trying to hold on. But uh, guys, thank you for supporting me. I love you guys. Peace.